I'm Luis Henrique Didier, I'm back CEO. I'm a former payment industry uh, director. I used to work for the payment industry for like forever. Uh, and then at a point we understood that Brazil needs to connect local payments to effect to make Brazilians to reach the globe. And so uh, I connected the payment experience that I've had for a long time with the FX uh, banking in Brazil. I used to work for the payment for a long, long, long time. We used to say that we are a Brazilian financial institution uh, for payment cross-border with a bank license. So what we do is we provide solutions for the Brazilians to reach the globe and the globe to reach Brazil. We have a very strong uh, effects regulation in Brazil. So it's important to collect local payment methods, uh, to process the effects, to send the information to Brazilian Central Bank, to make the right registration, and then pay the, the companies abroad. Products, uh, service, uh, whatever, uh, Brazilians are paying abroad. In the opposite side, we do the same. When an international company wants to pay Brazilians, for instance, TikTok wants to pay the Brazilians uh, for uh, indicating in another Brazilian to open the app. So what we do is we collect uh, foreign, foreign currency, we process the payment, and we pay the Brazilians through local payment methods as well. So pretty much we are a platform with a bank license to process payments from Brazil to the world and from the world to Brazil with the local uh, FX regulation. That's pretty much what we do. Brazil launched a new payment method which is called PIX. It's kind of a WeChat, Alipay, but it's controlled by the Brazilian Central Bank. So what we do, uh, what we are doing is we are offering to the Brazilians a very, very easy way to pay, but this is internal payment. So what, what our platform is doing is we are collecting picks, which is the local payment method, connected to the effects, allowing Brazilians to buy products and service of the world using a very, very easy way of payment. And the opposite is the same. Again, if an international company wants to pay Brazilians, we do it through the PIX rail. Uh, PIX is very interesting because it's an interoperable way of payment, much cheaper than credit card and debt card, and all the finan Brazilian financial institution is connected to it. It's the open banking first initiative in Brazil. And uh, we are the first ones to launch it PIX, the local payment, connected to the FX, allowing again Brazilians to pay the world and the world to pay Brazil. Ibor is a, a, a British fintech which connecting, which facet, facilitate the B2B SMEs payment, uh, allowing the FX transactions to be very, very simple. So the SME, SME companies in Europe, US, Canada, Australia, they can open an account and convert uh, different currencies and convert and pay. And uh, Ibor was acquired, uh, part of it, for Santander Group. As Santander Group is very strong in Brazil, it made sense uh, for Ibor to get into Brazilian market for the SMEs. So the idea is to offer a unique solution for Brazilian SMEs, together connecting Ibor expertise on being a, 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 a fintech to facilitate SMEs companies to, to operate in the Brazilian market, which is very, very, again, regulated and uh, not easy to, to, to operate. And also, uh, Ibor is interested in the e-commerce solution, the local payment method solution that Bex has. And as Bex is a bank in Brazil, we have the full license to operate on all the FX transactions. So it makes sense for Ibori now to do the, their first expansion out of the English language, English, English language and uh, European continent. So it's the first acquisition they do in Portuguese speakers and uh, out of Europe. So I think it's, it's really interesting and it would be really great for the Brazilians, SMEs, to be able to have something that they could not do today, which is having an, a, an account abroad to pay and receive from all over the world. Well, I think the synergies are, are, are really, really 
big here. They are very strong on operating SMEs and open an account to facilitate converting effects and payments and, and, and pay abroad. In Brazil, we have the platform which allows us to, to do it through APIs, payments, and all the connections uh, directly connected to the Brazilian Central Bank. We operate through APIs in a scalable, in a scalable terms. So we are not a traditional bank. We used to say that we, we are payment international payment company for bank license. So I think the synergy are really clear. We do not have account abroad to offer to our SMEs in Brazil. So now we'll be able to do that. And Ibori, they don't have a solution for e-commerce, local e-commerce and local payment methods to collect it and make the registration at the Brazilian Central Bank. So I think the synergy is really, really clear. For us, it's only win-win solution. For us and obviously for, for them. In Brazil, all the, all the uh, MNAs that has financial institutions, uh, we do have to be the approval of the Brazilian Central Bank. So the way we are, the way we are now is uh, the, the transaction is done, but we are waiting for the Brazilian approval, the Brazilian Central Bank approval. So yet we cannot do anything together as a company. What we are starting doing is finding where we can work together, not yet being one company. Uh, but we're expecting this approval until the end of this year. So then we can start uh, the full uh, integration. Latest news is Ibori now is a, a PSP approved for Amazon. And something that in Brazil is very, very important to us, it's very tough to do, is Brazilian merchants is starting to sell on Amazon US or Amazon Europe. And the only way to do that is open an account for the Brazilian merchants abroad, then Amazon can pay it. Amazon only do it through their approval PSPs, and Ibori is one of them. So uh, I think the latest news, the great one is allowing Brazilian merchants starting to sell on Amazon in US or Europe, which is a huge business for the Brazilian e-commerce. Uh, pretty much the e-commerce in Brazil is a local e-commerce. And now we are offering a, a, a solution for them to expand through Amazon is the biggest marketplace in the world.